So in this screencast, we're going to look how to use test vectors to automatically verify the behavior of our digital circuits. So if you imagine we've got this um, simple combinational logic circuit we want to test. You know, the, the text labels here are showing the um, truth table. So typically, you might use a poke tool to go through and test each combination. So here we can see 0, 0, 0 is giving us 0. So we know the first line of the truth table is correct. And we can do 0, 0, 1. So we get a one on the eight put, so it, um, we know that row's correct. And we're going to go through each one of the rows testing. Now you can imagine this can get a bit time consuming. It also um, makes it more likely that we can make errors. So there's, the, there's a nice feature in Logisim Evolution which can automatically test our logic circuits. So what we actually need to do, it's very simple. You just need to create a text file. So here I've called it test.text and on the first row of the text file you can see I've started this with a hash so a hash means it's a comment so you can put anything here you know it's good the uh, idea to put some um, useful description of the test vector you're using but this is going to be ignored by Logisim when it carries out the test and you can see on the next line down I've just got A, B, C and Y so these are our inputs and outputs so it's very important to match up these so you can see on these three input pins if I select A, I've given this a label A, B, and C, and so on. And on the output pin, Y, that label is also Y. So they're all lowercase, and that makes sure it matches here. And I've simply then just typed out the truth table. So this, this text file just essentially contains a truth table. So I'll just save this. And then in, in Logisim, Evolution, if you go to the Simulate menu, and then Test Vector, this will give you... And then the window will pop up. And then if you go load vector, I'm going to load, it, load this test vector, and then you can see it's loaded it. We can run it again. We can see essentially we've passed all eight tests. We've not failed any. So that's showing that this circuit is correct. So if I just, if I just close this window, and then just for example, I'll change this truth table. I'll put a one in this on this row, and I'll save this. So now if we run the test vector. So I'll load, reload the, reload it, <clears throat> and you can see now it's telling us we've failed. So we've failed on input A is one, B is zero, and C is one. So I'll just put that back. And in a similar way, I'll just modify the circuit. So say for example, I'll just delete the not gate to make it easier. So I'll save this. Run the test vector again. So load and run. So you can see all these have failed. So we know that was a problem with the circuit. So using test vectors is a very easy way, very you know much much quicker than doing it manually. We can use it to test our circuits.